my god, look at all of these Annas. <laughs> what happened? Hello, what's going on, guys? It is I, Delta, and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Awakening Lunatic Classic. Last time, we defeated some very colorful bandits and prevented our sister, Emran, the exalt of all elites, from being assassinated by Valadar and his group of elite cavalier assassins. How did we not hear them coming? What do we pay you for, Fila? I have to say, though, right now, I really do appreciate the effort to make this a much grayer story. Maybe it's just because I played Fate so recently. But I am just so glad that this is not black and white, very clear cut as to who is at fault here. The fact that Krom's ancestors very, very much screwed over Plegia kind of adds uh, this, this extra layer to the story, right? Because it means that although Gangrel, the Mad King that he is, has plenty of... Uh, more corrupt ambitions, I suppose. It's not as if that came out of nowhere. We, as Elysians, are directly at fault for that by our previous actions. And now we have to pay the consequences. Of course there would be high tensions. Of course they would not be so fond of us. Of course they can't just forget everything that's happened, especially considering that it's only been 15 years since all these atrocities took place. And that just adds a great amount of depth to this first arc. It keeps it a lot more interesting, a lot more engaging. Even though, as of right now, of course, the Elysian royalty are all fairly good people, it doesn't change the fact that very recently, uh, very recently, we would have been the villains, right? You could almost see an entirely different Fire Emblem game based in Plegia about them fighting off Krom's corrupt father. Like, that could be a game in and of itself, and that's so cool to me. If they were to bring back anything at all in Three Houses, I really hope that it's that. I really hope they bring back the more gray storytelling and the more gray plot points where it there's not a clear-cut good and bad guy. In this case, yes, of course, Elise is in the right, but let's not forget everything that went into making Plegia feel that they needed to do this. Speaking of three houses, though, Felison says, So, you know how Edelgard is now voiced by the same voice actors as Muriel? Actually, I didn't know that. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> I haven't really heard what she sounds like now. I haven't watched any of the three houses stuff, but for you guys that did know that, <laughs> let's go on. That's right, the mental image of Edelgard speaking with Deltre's robe of Muriel voice is now burned in your mind forever. <laughs> I hope that I ruined Edelgard for every single one of you. Thank you, Felisan, for doing God's work. <laughs> That's kind of surprising to me, though. I wonder why they would have picked somebody who voiced Muriel to do Edelgard. Those two characters seem like they really wouldn't have a whole lot in common, you know what I mean? I guess maybe she just has some good range or something. I guess we'll have to see when the game comes out, huh? On the subject of Gangrel, Cindy B says, I actually feel kind of bad for Gangrel as well, due to the previous exile killing his kid and says that he wants the Fire Emblem because of Grant's wishes. At least I remember reading that dialogue last episode, and yeah, I remember that too. He did say that. He probably just tried to bring back his family. I always thought that he was just some psycho who wanted war. Now, I will say that I don't necessarily think that he's going to use the Fire Emblem for good intentions, even if he got his hands on it, but I thought this was interesting because it kind of raises an interesting question or an interesting perspective, I think. What if Gangrel really does believe that the Fire Emblem can grant your greatest wishes or deepest desires? I mean, in a way it can, as long as your deepest desire is to defeat all Earth Dragons at the beginning of your turn. But not the final boss! No! God forbid it could banish Madius! Jesus Christ, I wished for nothing more when I was playing New Mystery and they couldn't do any of that, so I think Gangrel's kinda off base a little bit, not gonna lie. But it could very well be that he believes that by somehow taking this Fire Emblem, by conquering Elise, that he can have his deepest desires fulfilled. And I never really thought about it that way. Who's to really say what he wants to do with it? I would probably err on the side of some kind of world domination or conquest. Maybe it's just me. But it's a curious thought to think about just how far he's willing to go in order to get his hands on this. And the more I think about it, the more he must truly believe in this urban legend. He has to, otherwise why would it matter to him? You know what I mean? And I never really thought about that. I just don't know if I buy all this, though. That's all. I've been playing Fire Emblem for years, and I haven't had a single wish of mine granted. Such bullshit. If I did have the Fire Emblem, though, I think I would probably wish for Heyu to get some more speed. Barbecue. Gaius is the worst unit in the game. Virion. Am I no longer a joke to you? So, the answer to that may surprise you. The answer is no. No, Virion is no longer a joke to me. Look at this guy go. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I appreciate the fact that Virion can do damage and not take a counterattack. That's the same reason that I used Rickon at all in the last part. Because he can hit things but I don't have to heal him because he's not being hit in return. Which on lunatic mode, that's a very big deal. That in mind, I say again, for those of you in the back, 
Liking a bad unit does not make you a bad person, and somebody in the game must be the worst unit, in this case it happens to be Gaius. Once more. Liking a bad unit does not make you a bad person, however somebody must be the worst unit in the game, and in this case it happens to be Gaius. I kind of already went over all the reasons why, but let's think about this for a second, okay? Gaius gets one shot by anything with 29 attack or greater, if I gave him a defensive tonic, if not, it only takes 27 attack to do him in. Not a very tall order. And let's say he does survive the battle, what do I get? I do 12 damage, minus whatever defense they have, and I'm not fast enough on my own to double anything. So he's a very weak character, who does not double by default whose ability is not particularly useful because by the time we will start seeing treasures again we will have a much better thief. It's possible for him to become good, but with that same amount of time, if given to another character, they would be better. Like if I wanted to favor the hell out of Gaius, then why can't I favor the hell out of Virion, or Lan Ku, or Sumia, or Krob, or Robin, or really any of these other characters to get somebody who would be better than whatever Gaius can do. It's not unique, and his pair of bonuses suck too. Like at least if I were to train Vike, he would have a nice plus 5 strength, plus whatever he himself contributes to that as well. So Vike could at least give up to like what, plus 10 strength or something like that as a warrior, which is so huge. And Pawn, you guys actually did say that she as a wyvern rider is pretty good, and I looked it up, and yeah, her promotion, uh, I guess, promotion is kind of a weird word, I guess. But for class changing, she actually does get an absurd amount of stats. She gets like 5 strength, 5 defense, and a few points here and there and everything else, because the Tagwell has really terrible bases, as it turns out. In case you were wondering what the reasoning for that is, and why pretty much Pod is the only one that has that uh, benefit, but what does Gaius do that another unit, if given the same treatment, couldn't do? I saw a lot of people saying, well yeah, but Deltra, if you train him, well sure, but if you train anybody the same amount, then they would be better than him. You know, because Vike would be better at taking hits, Riggin doesn't have to take hits because he has magic, Virion doesn't have to take counterattacks, it can at least one-shot Wyverns, Gaius can't really fight anything on his own. Uh, don't get me wrong, I would need a better bow for Virion to one-shot Wyverns, but he could do it. Like, if I had a steel bow and forge that up, then we'd be talking, you know what I mean? But Gaius just opens doors, and treasure chests, and in all other ways, he's a worse version of Lon Ku. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like his character. The game is pretty funny, but, like, he's not very good at all, objectively. That's not saying he doesn't grow well, but so does everybody else. Everybody in this game grows well, if given enough time. You have infinite levels, so it's like, of course, everybody's gonna be good eventually. So, in case there was any confusion, one final time for the third and last time in this video. If you like a bad unit, that does not make you a bad person. However, somebody must be the worst unit in this game, and in this case, it is Gaius. Now, you might say I'm missing the point, because this comment in particular was obviously a joke comment, but, uh, shut up. Probably pretty decent on hard mode, though, where he's not one shot by everything in its mom. Oh, great, I love a good conspiracy theory. <laughs> so, the really says, working on a conspiracy theory that the reason you can't get tonics in Elise is because M outlawed them. That's why your units are way weaker than all the enemies every other country drugged up all their units beyond belief. Also, why it's easier to get drugs the further away you get from Elise. God damn it, Emrin! See, this is what I'm talking about right here. I also saw another comment talking about how these political rulers don't seem all that political. And I have no choice but to agree. Come on, Emrin! This is basic economy here. You cannot reduce the supply without reducing the demand. Why do you think Heiyu is so messed up? She's not slow. These are withdrawals. These are withdrawals, folks. It's like she wants us to lose the war. God, somebody just needs to knock this woman off. And lastly, in regards to how many Annas there are. Mike9001 says, as much Annas to make a legion. So many, many, many. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Oh God, they just keep coming. So many Annas. Look at all these Annas. How many are there? When will it stop? They're taking over one at a time. They're gonna control all of Elise! Wait, 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 wait. I just realized. 1,000 Annas is a good thing. Barracks. Alright, some singles. Please give me some more items. Please give me some broken crap. Oh, yes, Maribel, what do you got? Tiki's tier. Isn't that one of those crazy boost all stats temporarily items? I think it actually is. Magic and skill for Donald? Why? Oh my god, yes. This is what we need. Grants max HP plus 5 and plus 2 to all other stats for one battle. Oh ho ho ho. 
Oh, ho, 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 Sumia. At last, Krom and Heyu. And by doing this right here, they're gonna bang eventually, and I don't have to do any more supports. Yeah, work that one out. You guys thought it was bad that these guys got married after four conversations. Well, <laughs> look no further than Krom. Finish training for today, hey you. Yeah. Yeah, with combat practice, yes. But I thought I might review a few battle histories. Good. You should relax a bit. Put your feet up. Experienced soldiers rest when they can. On a campaign like this, you never know when the next battle might break out. Well... Ah, uh, so I've noticed. With all that's happened recently, we barely had time to even eat. Hmm. It's been a tough road, to be sure. And it's only going to get harder. Hmm. Unlike that picture that Fred hung up of you in every tent. Oh, God damn it, Frederick! Look, it was winter! I told him to wait for the summer to take that picture! Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. I do try to rest when I can, though. A lady needs her beauty sleep, after all. They say 18 hours a day keeps the doctor away. I... I don't think that's what they say. Oh, sure. Huh? Uh... What? Did I say something weird? <laughs> uh, no, it's... it's nothing. It's just that... Well, I didn't consider you to be the type to care after beauty and such. What with your hair being so messed up? Really? I suppose I've never really thought of you as a lady. Excuse me? I am the most ladylike of all ladies. Did, did you just... Did you just belch? <laughs> no, I mean... I, I didn't mean... Uh, not like that. That is to say, a lady, per se. I... What I'm trying to say is I don't find you attractive. God damn it! You know, you know, how you fight and strategize, and not to say a lady can't fight, but I'm not really making this any better for myself, am I? No, you are not. Gods, this is coming out all wrong. <sighs> My goodness, Krom. You're the scion of a noble family, aren't you? Didn't they teach you manners at your fancy schools growing up? Yes. Oh, gods, yes. Of course they did. We spent a whole term on etiquette. Huh? I slept through the whole class. <laughs> Perhaps you could use another term, this time on how to talk with a lady. Right. It's just my image of a lady as someone who's prim and proper, perfumed and pretty. Nothing like you. <laughs> God damn it. Somebody <laughs> Somebody pointed out the fact that sometimes the game will make the same joke that I've tried to. I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe this game just clicks with me, <laughs> I guess, apparently. And I never realized. Oh god, no, could it be? Have I finally turned? Have I become Fire Emblem Trash? Oh god, send help! When I look at you, I'm just so turned off. <laughs> Does that bother you? Uh, hey you, what are you doing with that rock? I'm thinking a sharp blow to the head might help fix your eyesight. <laughs> what? N no, wait, it was just a joke. Ha <laughs> ha, ah, gotta go! Fortunately, I'm faster than you. God damn it, you're right! I don't believe it. The little craven actually ran away. What kind of manners? Sheesh. Oh well, perhaps it's only fair. It's not like I think of him as a gentleman, let alone some fancy nobleman. They're gonna beg. Virion and Sully. I don't know that this will actually matter or not. In fact, I, I think I know who Virion should pair with, just to make him good. <laughs> Plus it's a support chain that I can honestly say that I've never seen. But uh, we'll see that when and if it happens. Hurrah! Yeah! I feel like he should Greetings. theoretically marry Sully, though. Because I feel like that's just... That seems like a funny relationship, right? Because she doesn't seem like she would put up with any of his shit, ever. Ha! Most fortuitous fortune. It is none other than my dearly beloved Sully. Your floating soul like a butterfly. Your stinging soul like the bee. Why, it's positively... What the... You got a point, Ruffles? So how does he know about... <laughs> Forget it. None save the point of my heart's compass, which strains ever towards you, my dear Sully. That sounds like an oaf, so get lost. I'm trying to trade here. It's so cold. I feel a chill coming on. I'll surely catch my death if you don't spare a few warm words, my lady. I've heard that you've made a habit of showing off your beaver. Yeah, what about it? I love my armor. Oh, well, that's not exciting at all. Come now. All this training for war, all this angry grunting. It's unbecoming of a lady so beauteous. Um... A pretty girl can stab a guy as easy as an ugly one. But she still needs to practice, so clear out. No. 
So, does that mean you're not going to show me your beaver? How about I shove my boot up your ass? No doubt the poets are right of your grace in combat. Stabulous, they'd say. Hmm. Hmm. Reminds me of somebody else that I hate. But there's no need for such exertions. Not when you've a man to protect you. I've yet to see a man up to that task. Oh, you shouldn't have pressed the man button, Virion. Milady, you wound me. Such a man stands before you at this very moment. Wait, are you talking about you? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, you're a funny one, Ruffles. I'll give you that. Wait. I, I wasn't joking. Haven't you seen my level up, Sully? I've been trying so hard. Hell no. Do you have any idea how many people try to kill me on a daily basis? It'd take a certified hero just to keep up, let alone protect me. And I've looked at your reclass tree. Hero isn't one of them. <sighs> and I vow to be just such a hero. Wait. Well, I mean, technically she's not wrong. Mm. Ruffles, I'd hire a wet nurse and her kid as protectors before I'd consider you. Alright, Sully's got mad birds, I'm not gonna lie. So, it's proof Milady desires, is it? So be it. I shall gladly furnish such. Milady? <laughs> Watch closely our next battle. I'll display such heroism as makes for legend and song. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> Don't doubt my Virion. Don't doubt Virion, Sully. He's doing his best. All right, let's see about Chapter 7, Incursion. Well, that's great. Aren't we supposed to be protecting everyone? Well, accidentally DC'd my microphone there for a second. Ah, well, nothing lost. I'm just glad I caught it, honestly. So we're doing Chapter 7. Not nearly as hard as the previous ones, I would say. Or at least, that's as I remember. I guess we're going to find out very quickly. We do get somebody I'm looking forward to, though. I have to find a way to use them, though. I'm not sure how. Right, I feel like we're kind of we're kind of tight on unit slots as of right now. But I guess we'll see what we can do. Ah, oh, my poor little feet. I've got blisters the size of eggs. <sighs> oh, it's not so bad, Lissa. Just a healthy little stroll. So, Crom, I've noticed you can't decide how to say my name. Shut up! How are you holding up, hey you? Shouldn't that be, hey you, how are you holding up? Proper grammar is important, Crom. My legs are feeling like pudding. Your endurance astounds me, Crom. That's right, I'm like a horse in bed. <laughs> Ha, huh, should I carry you? You can carry me. No, seriously, I would really be okay with you carrying me. <laughs> that wasn't a joke, just please do it. Hmm. Yes. It's something troubling you, Hierarch. You keep glancing up at the peaks. Huh? Oh, I guess I'm just a bit nervous. I'm afraid. You get ghastly times, these. Nothing suspicious here. Um. I'm just gonna go over there by those bushes now. And slowly back away from this situation. Krom, who was that? Hmm. The Hierarch. He's been a friend of House Elise for many years. He guided Emrin during the early years of her rule. Why do you ask? Well, it's just that I've never seen him before. And he doesn't have a name, so... I can't quite help... <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something feels... Like a betrayal flag has been rose. Oh, god damn it. Hey. <laughs> Time to die, Princey. <laughs> Legion soldiers. Damn, how did they know we were here? Do you know anything about this hierarchy? Oh, no, not me. I'm just an old man. Everyone, prepare for battle. As thought. Uh, gee, I wonder if he had anything to do with that or not. All right, so I was looking at it. It says these guys have 29 attack on the dot. If I bring Kellum and pair him with Muriel, she can actually 1v1 some wyverns. So we're probably going to do that. Just because more experience on Muriel is exactly what we need in my life. That's right. And I almost kind of want to... I kind of want Kellum and Muriel as the pairing, no lie. Because if Muriel could take a goddamn hit, that would just be so great. And she's... It's going to be a while. It's definitely going to be a while before she stops getting rocked by every enemy in the game. And Kellum just might be the guy to help with that. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But I had a I had a joke with this guy though. <laughs> so if I gave Sumia the Tiggy steer, she'd have 31 uh, 31 HP, 12 strength, plus five more or not 12 strength but 12 defense plus five more. 
So 31 and 17. I mean, she's actually three hit KO'd by Wyverns. What? And I'll bet anything. I'll bet my life she won rounds in return. Oh, and she would also double the thief. I mean, just as a bonus, she can actually double attack thieves. What? Here's our boss. Oh, God. 37 and 10. Jesus Christ. This guy is <laughs> hilariously strong. What? Well, he's going to drop me a Steel Axe for Freddy, I guess. And a concoction. Nice. Yeah, there's a bunch of droppable crap on this map. Steals. Some more money. <laughs> Lots of wyverns that are going to try to steal my life if I'm not careful. Oh, God. Sorry, not sorry. That's right. It's a really good thing that there's no Anna on the Strength Tonic Store, so I don't have to make a decision right now. Lanku, Frederick, Donald, Muriel. I mean, yeah, let's let's do this for Sumia. So that she can become even better, in theory? I mean, why would we not? Look at how crazy she is. Who... who... Who made this character? Why is she this good? I actually... I, I, there are no words, guys. There are actually no words for how crazy this Sumia is. This is actually unreasonable. <laughs> ah. Smell that, men. The winds of fortune are blowing our way. I have my doubts. Hold, sir. I am the man King Gangrel told you about. Did you not receive orders to take me into your protection? <laughs> I've orders to protect a man, true. But I see no man here. Only a pig. A rasher of traitorous bacon that sold out his own sovereign. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to say I feel bad, dude, but I really don't. And what do we do with little piggies, hmm? Well, I mean, perhaps you let them go free? <laughs> Close, but no dice. Oh, are you a chicken now? Bok bok. We have a whole barnyard in our midst. Well, it don't matter what you are. The axe will fall just the same. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's what you get. Now, time for the main event. By moon's end, they'll be erecting statues of me in the capital. Ho there, Elysians. Give me the fire emblem in your wench of a ruler, and spare yourselves a gory head. Fila, take Emran to the rear of the column. We'll fend off these placards. I don't know about all this, man. I'm scared, look at all these guys. So, if you played this game before, you might remember a very nice bastard move that the game pulls on you by having a bunch of wyverns ambush you from behind so in order to avoid any and all of that we're going to blitz the crap out of this and hopefully not deal with them or so goes my plan now in a perfect world Lanku would not get smacked by this 34 why is it a 34 can we do better than that <laughs> like no lie well I don't know that we can so me up bear with Frederick make him broken I'm gonna kill this guy Truthfully, what I would like to do is move here and kill him like so, but there's a hammer right here, right? Yeah. Oh, he can he can reach me no matter what, can't he? So if that were the case, then in actuality, the correct move is this. Yeah, the correct move is that. So get him, Freddy. I don't want to get popped by a hammer. Not so soon. Right, she should not have the killer lance equipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're wasting good items. We're wasting good items. What are you doing, Deltre? Are you new? I just might be. See, if I... The thing is, I'm greedy, right? And I want the kill on Virion. I, without a doubt, want the kill on Virion. We can't move Virion here to shoot because there's a... There's a wyvern right there. I say that. The answer is yes. Yes, we risk Lanku. We risk your ass. Oh, now it's 24. He actually gets avoided by standing next to Sumia slash Frederick or whatever, whatever's going on there. I'm not sure. But we take those. We definitely take that. So now Lanku is very unlikely to be hit, as he is not. Which means that Virion runs through. Oh, yeah, right between the eyes. Let's go. I really feel like Virion might have some use on this map because of all those wyverns. All those damn wyverns. A very scary enemy, to be sure. Strength, skill, speed. Yep. <laughs> This is the least noble of my noble efforts. That's his way of saying, I could have gotten more stats, but the level up was still good. And he would not be wrong. So now we can take hit you. Equip the Falchion. Sit, not Marth, right there. And that should be very good. Oh, crap. Oh, this guy's strength plus two this time. 
I forgot they could do that sometimes. Yeah, that's annoying. That was that was for Muriel. She definitely cannot take the hit through a strength plus two, so I guess she's gonna have to improvise a little bit. She can just move over here. Yeah, that sucks. That's another reason that I really do not care for those random skills. But oh, oh, he shouldn't be able to do that. He shouldn't be able to do that, man. It's better for me in a way though, because that's gonna mean that these guys. Uh, they're not stacking onto like Krom or somebody who's a little bit more risky to use here. We actually hit. Yeah, don't leave him for Donald. Kill him for Elise. I agree. Somebody needs to teach this lady some priorities. God. So now what's Donald gonna kill? He was supposed to kill the thief, the one thing that he's actually pretty decent at. By the way, this is why I wanted Krom paired with you. Oh. Checkmate, boys. 63 damage. Not that that was really needed. God forbid we let Krom do anything all on his own, but hey. Hey, you more like. I mean, in all fairness, Virion plus Donald would technically kill this bandit? Uh, and that is a technicality, make no mistake. I guess we're gonna see how real I'm feeling. But if I kill that bandit, then the rest of this falls into place pretty easily. And because Krom actually didn't get hit there, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with that move. Unless... Okay, no good. The woods protect me, as I thought. Okay, yeah, let's try this. Plus, I mean, there's always the chance that hey, you just negates any chance for him to do damage. Nope, we're gonna take that head on, but that's okay. Yeah, are you finished already? God damn. You know, Krom, maybe your falchion wouldn't be so bad if you stopped jabbing it into the ground like that. Did you ever think of that? I don't think you did. That's not how you treat a sword. Now, I'm no weapons expert, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. Yeah, that's what we want right there, and then Donnie does exactly 10. Okay, 71. Versus not using Donald. That's basically where we're at. <laughs> so I'm thinking that we're gonna try that. How, how does Sully do? I'm gonna give her the bronze sword. I don't think that she would kill from the back, but she might. Like, I could be miscalculating something, so this is just the safe way to do it. In an attempt to get a kill for Donnie. Yup, see, I knew it. I knew it. God, it's like I played this game before. Sully keeps getting good level ups, and I don't know how to feel about all that. So, I mean... Yeah, we're real. We're real. 71 is basically 100. Told you. I like how he breathes a little sigh of relief. Me too, bud. Me too. Worth it. So worth it. Only four more of these. <laughs> and then he can actually be decent. Mm, yeah, I definitely do. Well, there's still two chances that Pond jumps in here as well. With the Killing Edge crit potential. Yeah, most of the time. 90% of the time. By the way, this is what Tagwell looked like. In case you were curious. Most of the time, this guy died. How well he died. Pretty goddamn well, clearly. Alright, so somebody pointed out that every time Lon Koo gets strength, somebody dies, so... Okay, good, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Confirmed. <laughs> That's how that works, right? I assume. Because Muriel cannot miss, I'm actually just gonna attack from this guy's face. Just to have her that much closer. Maybe I should have given Kellum a weapon just for the sake of having him potentially dual strike? I don't know. Well, what I do know is that this guy is very dead. Robo, Muriel, back at it again! I doubt that's a level up. Oh, it is. Cool. Magic. Speed. Cool. She has a 60 in both, so I mean, pretty good growth. Pretty good growth. Her durability is actually going to become an issue, though. I can already tell. I can tell for sure. Now, I would have 27 attack. Minus 10. Minus 1. It's a survival. They, they would survive regardless. So, Killer Lance, it is maybe not the prettiest, but I, I, I don't know, man. I guess I could have forged up like a... This is without a doubt how we get stuff done. So Samia right there. And a nice little glowing tile. I snuck in some practice if anyone needs it. It's me. Weapon proficiency up. Cool, cool. She can almost use the silver, dude. This guy cannot kill Lan Ku. But it's gonna hurt like hell. Potentially. Nope, not today. There's still that other thief as well. And I really want to feed that to Donald somehow. What well, would be hilarious. What am I missing? Why did he do 15? Because he had strength plus two. Well, it makes no difference. It makes no difference. 
All that means is that I just barely survive if this guy has it as well. No, he doesn't. Okay. God, <laughs> that was terrifying. Why is she? I mean, <laughs> what, what else can I say? What else can I say? She's, she's so broken. Here comes the thief. Here comes everything. No. Oh, look, just in time. Thank you, Cordelia. Why couldn't you join me at the start of this map? When you'd be really, really useful. I thought you were a perfectionist. <sighs> no, Plegian's here as well. Prince Crom, Captain Phila, beware. Yeah, oh, we kind of know, Cordelia. Oh, just checking. Enemy reinforcements to the rear. They'll be upon us soon. Is that God's Cordelia? Huh? Cordelia? Right. She's one of my knights. Young yet, but quite gifted. But she was stationed on the border. Why? Oh, gods. What could it mean? I think it could, Fila. I like how they set that up, though. That's uh, it's kind of dramatic. But I guess we will have to complete the map and see. So this is a really bad position. Like, it, it actually could not possibly be much worse. Oh, wow. Did they just checkmate me? <laughs> what happened? We were doing so well. We're going to get cornered over here and then die to said reinforcements. That at the very least, Cordelia was nice enough to warn us about, but that's not going to change the fact that they're still kind of asshole reinforcements. I would say they fit the bill. I suppose this is the part where I should have given the Tiki's tier to Hey You instead so that she could kill this guy, huh? Yeah, ooh. I may have been blinded by favoritism, guys. Can you blame me? Sumi is so good. Okay, so real talk, I think this is our best move right here. If I move Frederick to this spot and have him have a go at this archer, I can block those guys on the right-hand side and force them through the forest. Or at the very least, force them to go around Frederick, which is obviously ideal. And I need to kill this archer because he's the biggest problem right now. He's so far forward that he's pushing me back into this corner. And if that happens, then I'm really screwed. And it also helps me because that means I'm actually going to be close enough to the rest of these guys to finish them off. At least in theory. But like this thief, for example, this is actually as far as he can go. Now, if this guy didn't have strength plus two, I could be a lot more cheeky here. Move in with like, or, or rather, I could leave Muriel in range. I couldn't really move in with her, but she could be in range. But she dies thanks to his extra boost in power, which is no good. So how close can Krom be, I guess, would be the next question. So Krom can be right here. That's not in range of two, right? It's only one. Yeah, Krom right here uses a concoction. And he can one round another one of those wyverns for me. Speaking of higher movement, I didn't forget about Cordelia. She, she's good, but not as good as Sumia. Strictly because Sumia has had all this time to trade. I mean, just look at this. Sumia is only four levels higher, and her stats just blow Cordelia out of the water. And of course, yeah, the Sumia is obviously above and beyond the average Sumia. But that doesn't change the fact that even an, like even a standard Sumia would outdo Cordelia's bases at the same level by a fair bit. Like, a level 7 Sumia is just better than a level 7 Cordelia. For the most part. She'd be faster, she'd be about as strong, if not stronger. Let's see, 45% growth over 6 levels. So yeah, about as strong. Much faster. Much faster. And that's the big thing. That's such a huge part about all of this as well. Like, Sumia, her growth rate was what, 60, 65, 70 even? Compare that to Godelli, who starts at a higher level with a much more pathetic base of only 12. Granted, it's effectively 14 because of the plus 2 speed ability that she starts with, just the same as Sumia. But man, she kind of got the short end of the stick in some ways. She is technically a little bit stronger, I think. In terms of growth rates, right. But that's 6 levels that Sumia's been able to get by now. And in my case, 10 levels, right? So... That level difference right there is enough to keep Sumia way better. But there's never really a bad time to have an abundance of flyers, I find. So, I would say Sumia, or, or rather Cordelia. I would say Cordelia is pretty good as a result. Not really a whole lot else to add about her. She's just a good flyer. And I will be using her. Oh, yeah, Deltray uses the red-heading flyer, Jake. More news at 11. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta do that. We have to. 
So this is gonna suck because that's a lot of guys that are gonna be attacking Fred. Okay, that helps a little bit. I won't lie, Samia, not a bad one. Stop stealing Donnie's skills. What's wrong with you? <laughs> How am I supposed to level him up if you keep being so good, Sumia? Jesus. This lady has no restraint, I swear. Now, of course, these axe users have almost no chance to hit Frederick. The, the bandits have about a 19. Oh, a 9 even. Wow. Wow. <laughs> he must have Gamble or something, I dig it. Not that it matters now when Fred's going to put him into the dirt, as he has been doing all game long. Not the ideal outcome for this scenario, obviously. I'm guessing that if I would have left Frederick out there, as opposed to leaving Sumia out there, this might have went a little bit better, because Frederick could have killed more things more easily, which would have led to a... It would have let us push forward, I want to say. At the very least, we wouldn't be nearly as screwed as we are right now. Krom, thankfully, deals damage, if nothing else. Right. He takes those guys out in a single round, which is going to be very, very good for us here. And unfortunately, again, this one has to go to Frederick. It had to. The other issue here is that I'm not sure how deeply we can push back now. It really just depends on if that last Wyvern had strength plus two or not, because I would like to get Muriel in here. She can two-shot these guys. It's just a matter of the fact that most of the ones that she would have been able to fight had strength plus two, of course. Which sucks, because her durability does as well. Yeah, so it really just depends what this last guy has. He does not have strength plus two, so Muriel is a go here. Muriel is good to go here. And I genuinely, in my heart of hearts, believe that a shot from Muriel into a shot from, hey, you will kill this guy. Hey, he was exactly seven points stronger, so that is indeed the case. Okay, what about this? What about this move right here? I think this is honestly our only way. So, we hand off Vanku. He can move in, and he can go for a double attack on this archer right now, thanks to Samia's help. At which point, even if he fails to kill, Virion is right there. In fact, it's it might be preferable. The brigand could not reach... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he couldn't reach Muriel to finish her off from where she's going to end up. So, we will unequip. We'll unequip Sumia, who did not get nearly as much experience as I wanted her to. We can kill this Plegian bastard right now. Virion can actually get the kill. Like so. This guy, please tell me I'm not wrong. Okay, good. <laughs> Phew. So we do like that. Virion gets another kill for himself. This guy is just too good. He's just too good. Uh, before we actually do any of that, though, I want to see if we can't kill this guy with Freddy Boy. Oh, re-equip Sumia. I would do this, but the chances of her dying is just too great, I feel. So, equip Sumia. We have about a 75-something or so to kill this guy. And we also have the crit chance as well, so it's a little bit better than that, even... And if we get hit, we're still not going to die. So it's whatever, really. Got him. Oh, Sumia! up. Phew. Oh, that's Big Fred coming through. Level for Sumia. Oh, it doesn't count unless she hits, I guess. That sucks. Oh, well. Now, Muriel. Well, I mean, we're totally safe at this point, considering that that guy missed. And we're going to have a nice little wall right here. Take him out with Virion the Goat. Sully, what's going on? I thought you said Virion was bad. What happened? What happened? And this must be a kill for Heyu. That's the only thing about this, really. She's the only one that can do it. But that's fine. Just as well. I'll splatter you across the canyon floor. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. That's right, you tell him, Heyu. She's coming through right now. I'm so sure that this is a kill. And if it's not, then, uh, whoops. That'd be an embarrassing way to lose, huh? Cordelia does exactly zero, so, uh, failing this, I have lost. Do take the Elwind. God bless. God bless basic mathematics. Okay. If anything, I should have given Muriel the Delta under, but oh well. This should be a level up for Heyu, potentially. You dove stink. Killing me will change anything. <laughs> Even now, my brothers storm across your precious border. Go on, dear exalted coward. Run, flee while they slaughter your subjects. Save yourself. 
Let their faith in you bleed away with the rest. You have an awful lot to say for somebody who's dying. Really? Oh, man. <laughs> we can just move in. No reinforcements just yet. They do go for Muriel, as expected. But she survives. She may destroy him. She does not. Well, I mean, she embarrassed him, that's for sure. But I was kind of hoping for the kill. Hoping for a little bit of a kill shot there. I can put this guy in range and not it, boy. Nice use of Tiki's to your Deltra. Shut up, man! I want to hear it. I don't need your negativity. Nor does Sumia. Here comes the perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, oh no! She finally got a bad one. <laughs> Impossible! Well, of all the times for the game to glitch, it's crazy. Watch this 88 miss. Let's go, Donald! Oh, yes! Put back into the ground where you belong. Not so bad, though. Definitely got a little bit hairy when all those guys decided to charge us at once, but with a little bit of pair-up crap, we did okay, I feel. Oh yeah, what about that border crossing? What's going on with that? They're gone. My lord. Your grace, my prince, run! As far and as fast as you can! More Plegians are coming, not a half a day's march behind you. What? Cordelia, what are you doing here? Tell me the border remains secure. <laughs> that I could, milady, but it would be false. Gangrel himself led this might against us. The end was upon us when my knight sisters begged me to fly and warn the exalt. I should have stayed. I should have stayed. Oh, gods, I can still hear the screams. Oh, god, Cordelia, you're kind of messed up, huh? <laughs> I'll never forget the things that I have seen. Oh, god, the horrors. <laughs> Peace, Cordelia. You did your duty. The sisters rightly prized your youth. You've many years yet to keep their legacy alive. No. But I abandoned them. I'm weak. Their legacy deserves better. Based on the damage forecast, you're not entirely wrong. Do you see that? Zero damage? But trust me, she's trainable. I promise. There's no bias here. I don't want to hear that. Nobody accused me of that. But I did abandon them. I'm weak. Oh, I already said that. Sometimes fleeing takes the most courage. They knew that. Now pull yourself together. Let the faith they showed in you give you strength. <laughs> Captain Fila, I... How can I go on like this? Oh, she's really messed up. Oh my god. Yeah, they went through no expense to make sure that we knew exactly how screwed up this whole situation was. Which, honestly, I appreciate. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of sitting here making jokes about it, but at the very least, they took the time to explain that, yeah, or maybe not all sunshine and rainbows. It's almost like they're trying to take the story seriously. I'm just, I'm just so not used to that. How do I... How do I respond to this? I just don't know, guys. I feel like I may be a little bit desensitized. Thank you, Fates. Oh, God. They were my friends. Oh, God. <clears throat> Damn those monsters. <clears throat> I must return to the capital. Please reconsider. Your Grace, I cannot advise... <clears throat> I should have never left. If it's discovered I'm away when this news comes to light... The people could panic, riot, moral Elysians could needlessly die. Here, Krom, I entrust this to you. And by doing so, I have raised my death flags to the highest possible point. <laughs> the fire emblem. Emrin, do you know what this yes. means? Take it to Ferox, to safety. No, what? no, the death flags thing. Oh, yes, I know, I've designed a game or two, but besides that. <sighs> Fine, and I'm to leave you, no M. <laughs> No part of House Elise matters more than the emblem. It possesses tremendous power, but too much blood has been shed over it already. I hope it finds a better guardian in you than it did in me. Gods! Em, come on, you can't... Don't talk like that. You sound like you're ready to give up. Krum? I am not giving up, Krum. I'm only giving what I can. Sister! Em, please, this is madness. Em! Sis, wait, let me go with you. Farewell, my sisters and brothers. Oh, I'm still here. Never mind. Stay with Krom, Lissa. I command it. Why? This isn't fair. It's not fair. I know our people need you, but we need you too. <laughs> Dry your tears, love. This is not goodbye. Your grace. Your grace. Your death flags have reached a whole new height. What are you doing? Your grace. The Pegasus Knights will accompany you to Alistal. Thank you. Very well, Fila. Thank you. Right. I will keep the prince and princess safe, your grace. You have my word. Yes. I know you will, Frederick. I saw that map. Thank you. 
Of course. It is my honor. <sighs> this is not gonna end well. Cordelia, you will stay here with Kram. What? But Captain. Right. I know your heart is heavy, but this is how it must be. Your Night Sisters will be with you in spirit, wherever you go. But not in body. Oh god, the way you described it. Okay, please. Too soon. May they give me strength. As you command, Captain. As you command, Captain. I will pray for your safety. <sighs> Come, Vila, we must go. Can I recruit Vila? That'd be... <laughs> I'd prefer that, actually. I wonder how good she would be. I feel like she'd be more like a Sigrid type character. Joins at the ass end of the game, but has really good base stats. Or so I would assume. No, you don't have to go. This is absurd. Crom. Crom, you don't... Listen to me. Walking to your own death will not bring peace to anyone. Elise needs you. We need you. Be selfish for once in your life. <laughs> no. I love you, Crom. Both you and Lissa are my everything. As for the peace I seek, you cannot see who it is for. I have to go. I'm sorry. I truly am. Let us embrace again in Elistal when you arrive with Feroxy reinforcements. I know you will come. Sister, this is a terrible plan. <laughs> I have to side with Krom on this one. I think she's going way too soft. Oh yeah, let me just go right to where the battle is taking place by myself, practically. No disrespect to Fila, but did you see how she let that assassination plan come to fruition? Or was that just me? I don't know, maybe she was napping or something. But, uh, not the most reliable. That's what I'm trying to say. If anything, it should be the opposite. We should be sending the majority of our troops to Emrin and having Krom and Lissa go solo to Feroxy, to, uh, to, to Ferox, to Regna Ferox. Right? Doesn't that make more sense or am I just, maybe I'm thinking a little bit too hard about it. I don't know, Emrin, you've got some work. That's all I can say. The blood of the first exile flows strong in us. You and I will keep Elise safe. I believe it with all my heart. Safe journey, Krom. Safe journey, Lissa. Farewell. Why does she always say that when she leaves? Sister! M. M! Ah. Welp. I am so sure she's fine, though. She must be. Oh, more story. I was gonna call it. Right, right, right. We obviously gotta meet with Flavia. Why didn't we just send Sumia with her? I'm pretty sure she would've been fine. But she's safe inside the castle, right? Vila and the others will protect her. And Khan Flavia is assembling her best troops as we speak. We'll make it back home in time. I know we will. Lisa. Do you know what you're doing? I know, I know. The death flags. Krom, say something. Say yes, of course we will. Hmm? I'm sorry, Lisa. What? Hey. It's just a habit. I usually tune you out when you speak. That's all. Good with women still, I see, Krom. The best. Ah, oh, never mind. Let me know when you get out of your own head for a second. <sighs> I'm sorry, what? I don't pay attention. God damn it, Krom! Captain! Snap out of it, Captain! That's right, it's <laughs> Okay, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Ow, what the hell was that for? You're stronger than me! You should know better than that! Oh, sorry, Captain. Guess I don't know my own strength. It's 13! It's not that high of a number! Ow, what the hell was that for? Sorry. Oh, no. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> Captain Fila said sometimes a good slap will break someone out of their doldrums. Sumia, when you slap someone, you do it with an open bump. Oh my god, did she punch him? <laughs> I didn't even... <laughs> Come on, Captain, snap out of it! <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> I love this game. You just punched Krom in the face. What? Um, it's the thought that counts. Good save. Gods, that seriously hurt. <laughs> What's wrong, my dear prince? Sometimes love hurts. You're lucky to have a strong woman like the. You're lucky to have strong women like these, and not just dainty flowers about. In any case, I bring good news. The Feroxy army has finally mobilized. Every last man is itching. Every last man is itching to fight. I must say, I'm looking forward to savoring a skirmish or two myself. Not literally, of course. I'd break the game in half right now, but. Wait, you're coming along? No, I just said. Right. Of course, Akan must have her fun. I'm even bringing my insignificant other. Um. You're who? Exactly. Basilio. <laughs> she said exactly. Yeah, who? <laughs> Basilio. 
The oaf isn't good for much, but he might stop a few stray arrows. Harsh! I don't know, I feel like he could take some lives. Definitely. Look at this guy. He's got muscles on muscles. Crom, right. good gods. I've been looking everywhere for you. Hmm? Is something wrong? Hmm. Our scouts have reported back. Dark news, I'm afraid. Elistol has fallen. Well, that didn't take very long. What? Right. The Plegians captured your exult, retreated back across their lines. Gangrel has declared she's to be publicly executed within the moon. What? E executed. Uh. Oh, god damn it. Uh. Lisa, Lisa! Uh. The Dastard's not even trying to be subtle anymore. Uh. I agree. It's an obvious trap. Alright. The Mad King knew our scouts would relay this information back. It's clearly a provocation. A hot brand to the buttocks. Uh, could you not say it like that, Basilio? Why? We should consider our options carefully before jumping to any... Gods! Shepherds, we march to Plagia. Ah, oh, goddammit. Hold on. Ahem. Well, yes, that would be one option. But perhaps we've seen enough royalty waltzing into traps for one war already. <clears throat> I don't care if it's a trap, Basilio. He's going to murder my sister. Listen. Peace, Kron. Breathe a moment. No one's suggesting we don't act. We're simply saying we should act wisely. We'll need guts and wits in equal measure if we're to save your sister. I like Floppy and Basilio here. The voices of reason. The cons are right. All right. I'll think of something, Krom. I promise. <sighs> All right, hey you. I leave it to you to formulate our strategy. Are you certain you're up to the task, hey you? It won't be easy. Well, you hold the Exalt's life in one hand and all of ours in the other. Yeah. Our responsibility I do not take lightly, but I am equal to the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you got stones at least. Well, actually, I'm a woman. Just, just take the compliment. I like that. Oh, great. No hesitation. No mincing words. She's either a genius or a fool. I suppose we'll find out once we march. Hold on to your tacits, Elysians. We have an exalt to save. I don't know, though, man. It's not gonna be easy. What is this next map, anyways? Oh, yeah. We have an exalt to save. Let me go over here to this village real quick. <laughs> Why does the game always have an incessant habit of doing that? It seems like every time there was some dire moment in the plot, the game said, oh, by the way, this would be a pretty good time for a paralogue, don't you think? No! Anyways, that is going to do it for me today. So, next time, we're going to have to execute this daring rescue to save the life of Exel Emerin. If you did enjoy this part, please feel free to leave a like. Rating helps me out tremendously, guys. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I will catch you all in the next one. See you then. Peace. Probably a double. We'll see.